married this summer. It was fantastical, thank you. The planning was a breeze because, of course, we're two women, so two people were actually doing the work. So, that made it go a lot faster. Look at all the ladies. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was easy to plan it, but it was a little bit uh, hard trying to find a location because, of course, not everybody is super comfortable with the gay marriage thing yet. So we actually went to one place in town where this yo-yo takes us upstairs into the room. Well, the room looked like 1972 had thrown up in the place. <laughs> it was horrible. And then she started doing this one. I really knew I was in trouble. She started whispering the words that she obviously found offensive. So she says to me, how many people are coming to the wedding? And I said, well, you know, I don't know, it'll be about 80 or 90 people, won't be a super big wedding. She goes, oh, good, because we had a really big wedding in here last week. The Lebanese. It's <laughs> like, what? And then, what are your colors? I said, oh, they're, they're going to be like pale pink and pale green. Oh, because sometimes, you know, people get in here with some crazy colors. The blacks. <laughs> I was like, I'm out of here. I, you know what? I said, I said to my wife, I got to go to the bathroom. And we were out. We didn't even go back. I could just see her in the elevator going, well, we're OK with the natives. <laughs> but we're not comfortable with the gays. <laughs> One of the big challenges, though, with planning a female, female wedding, and I'm sure all the women can understand, when you're planning your wedding, you try to make sure that it is around your cycle. Um, I have a name for my cycle, as most of us do. Most of the ladies, we call our cycle something. I call mine Darcy. <laughs> which is great until you meet somebody named Darcy, and then it's kind of uncomfortable. So anyway, suddenly we have two Darcys, because Denise and I, my wife and I, are not in sync. And if you really think about that, that means for lesbians, six months of the year, we cannot have sex. We hired like a mathematician, we had a naturopath, an astrologer, everything, you name it, trying to land that wedding between the two Darcys. <laughs> because it's my wedding night, I want to like, mm, you know, have some luck that night. We finally got it all worked out, everything worked out fine, but oh my God, I don't know if anybody else here who's married experienced this. It was like such a party, it went to like two o'clock in the morning. We got back to the room, it took me 20 minutes to unlace her out of the big dress. Took her 20 minutes to unlace me out of the big dress. I was wearing double Spanx that day. So we had to get some Vaseline, some fishing wire. Got me out of those. At that point, man, we just passed out. It's horrible. Listen, we're going from wedded bliss to a hot miss. Now, she is the Mi'kmaq Nation's answer to Buffy St. Marie. Please put your hands together for the pride of Lissagush First Nation, Melissa Gervin. <laughs> Melissa Gervin was recommended to me from a guy I used to know in high school that uh, comes from the same reserve as her. And when I listened to her music, it was beautiful. She looks great, she sounds great. She kind of gave me that fall back to the Joan Baez feel. And uh, that's why I selected Melissa Gervin for the show.
wish you didn't leave at all. rehearsal but tonight I think more enjoyable than watching you sing was watching your family watch you sing and everybody was teared up can you just tell us who you have here with you um, I have my sister Ginger my father Richard my sister Tina and her boyfriend Stephen and also my cousin Sue Ann my cousin Danny my cousin Valerie uh, Dan my cousin Danny's wife Krista and my friend Karen and her husband Darcy so, oh. <laughs> It was so awesome having you on the show, Melissa. I'm wondering if before you leave, because I know someday you're going to be rich and famous and I'll be able to sell my wall on eBay, would you mind signing my wall before you go? Oh, no problem. Sweet. Sweet. Thank you so much. against the wall, you name it. So I thought it was like really exciting when Caitlin came out and did her thing. And you guys all seemed like you wanted to take part in Caitlin's act. So I think we should bring Caitlin Anthony back to the stage, get some volunteers, and let's try a little experiment. Let's try a little trick of our own right here on the candy show. Woo yeah. So. What can you show some folks in the audience? What do we need? Well, I think if we get four volunteers up, if we can find, can we find four people yes, in the audience? I think we can find four people in the audience. Come on up, don't be shy. Yeah. Anyway. I am gonna turn my stage over to you, Caitlin, because okay. I'm not sure where we're going with this. <laughs> okay, so we need all of you lovely ladies to sit down in one of these chairs, any way you fit in there. Okay. Okay. And so what you're going to need to do is just scooch in nice and tight so you're all sitting as close as you can to each other. Yeah, right to the edge of your chair. Okay, so we're all going to lean back at the same time and lay down on each other. We're going to get a little intimate. So you lay down yeah, this yeah. way? Right in the laps. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to be pushing your shoulders down. <laughs> oh, so do oh you're back here. <laughs> okay. okay. If you want, you can put your arms on the other person's thigh if you if you need to. Or yeah, don't be scared to touch one another. Arms. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you want to be pushing your hips up. Okay. So you hear that? Push down. your hips up. And then me and Candy are gonna pull these chairs, what? and you guys are gonna Why? sit nice and tight. So make sure. Yeah, you're good. Be oh Just push your push your hips up, ladies. <laughs> Wherever you are and however you're tied up, 
I hope you get untied to be back here next time for more fun on the candy show. See ya. <laughs>